We've talked a lot about what the internet is, and hopefully that gives you a sense of some of the potentials of the technologies that we're currently using on the internet. And now we sort of talked a little bit about what the internet might become. Speculation, what could happen, and a lot of that's sort of driven by some of the technological capabilities that we're already starting to see emerge. But an equally important question for you to think about as a technologist is what should the internet become? What should the internet be in the future? What do you want the internet to be? If you thought about ways in which the internet is changing the world, in what ways do you think the internet is changing the world in positive ways? In what ways do you think the internet is changing the world in negative ways? And how can you support those, those changes and support the changes you want to see? Because what's increasingly true about the internet and about computers and about technology in general is that anything is possible. Almost anything is possible. I mean, there is so much computation out there, there's so much computing power available to you in the world, that if you want to use these tools to do something, you can. And so the question of, the reason why it's interesting and important and critical to engage this question of what should the internet become, is you then become part of the internet becoming that thing. You become part of that change because you can build things and you can affect how the internet is used. When we see the internet being used for good things, when the internet is helping people connect with each other, when the internet is you know, helping people find out useful information about the world and making good decisions, when the internet is leading people um, and, and societies into better states that are more fair and more just, that's happening because people are doing that. People are using the internet. The internet doesn't really have any goal in mind, it's just out there. When we see positive things happening online, those things are happening because people are doing them. People are using these technologies in good ways. At the same time, when you see negative things happening, when you see people increasingly isolated into you know, their own social universe, when you see people um, confused by fake internet content and believing things that aren't true and having opinions or uh, beliefs about the world that are harmful um, and maybe sort of uh, internet sort of fomenting hatred and suspicion between people. Again, those things are happening online because other people are doing them, because other people are using the technology to do them. So the internet is ultimately something that's going to continue to mirror who we are as people. It's something that we built that was based on some of our sort of basic human desires and needs to connect with each other and to find out more about the world around us. But now that those basic building blocks are in place, what happens next is increasingly up to us. And what happens next is increasingly up to you because you have access to these technologies. You can you know, use them to accomplish the types of things that you want and to let the internet become what you want it to become. So think about it a little bit. What should the internet become? And how can you be a part of that?